there's never been a more appropriate time for Canada and the United Kingdom to forge new and stronger research and innovation partnerships. The applications today are based on science that was done maybe 20 to 50 years ago. And so if you want still to have applications showing up 20 to 50 years from now, you have to do the fundamental science now. Being able to do deep research with no requirement for there to be an application, that I think is fundamental to nations' competitiveness, uh, to the advancement of, of knowledge. You never really know how certain research is going to play out in 20 years, but putting money into research will always benefit you in the long run. When you're doing research, you're looking for truth. And you can recognize truth often because it's beautiful. It leads to more elegant ways of doing things, which end up having important economic implications. It's being able to see the world through the full stack eyes of theoretical physics, nanotechnology, quantum computing, and to say, these are the changes that are going to matter. And then to have the funding runway for that to happen, which is a number of years. How much were you encouraged to take those kind of risks? If you build a technology, a product or something, you can keep your IP and that was significantly important for a company like us, whereas in other universities, for example, the university owns some of the IP and it makes the company formation very difficult. And that moment where I really decided to stay in Waterloo and grow the business was the moment that I stepped into the Velocity Garage. This can be your story as well. Being at a university where you're saying, we encourage you, we encourage you as creative and as curious as you can, if you can do something about it, do it.